Hola folks, I'm John Cook and this is my wife Chum and I'm running for Texas Land Commissioner. Welcome to the first of our series called Fireside Chats. I'm a man of integrity and will not stand to watch people being lied to, so I'll be using these fireside chats to keep you informed because I always want people to know the real or the rest of the story. The rest of the story about us, about our campaign, about why we're running, and our positions on subjects and the truth. The office I'm seeking is arguably the third most powerful elected position in our state government, controlling about $29 billion in assets. That said, most people in the state have no idea what the land commissioner's job is all about. Some pundits have already crowned my opponent in this contest. He's Bush's nephew. Yes, there was George H. Bush, then George W. Bush, now there's George P. Bush. I know you're thinking, I'm not voting for another Bush. His uncle and his grandpa have helped him raise millions. I've raised thousands, so this is really a classic David versus Goliath race. But you see, I've never believed in entitlements. Nothing in my life has ever been handed to me. I believe in earning everything, including earning your vote. Would a boxer get into the ring with no intention of taking some punches and delivering others? I don't think so. Same goes for this contest. I'm going to take and deliver some punches. So far, the media has only invited one boxer into the ring, but this is the 21st century, and thanks to social media, money no longer rules. So this story, like most, begins at the beginning. But we'll have to wait to get to the beginning of the story because I need to fast forward to this race, what's being said about it, and what this candidate is saying. My fireside chats are about cleaning up what's false, about clarity, and about dispelling lies, and about respecting the smart people of Texas who know better. Today's chat is about introducing the real story, the rest of the story, and the truth. So let's watch this media clip and we'll come right back for some commentary. 254 counties touting what he calls a pro-life, pro-gun, pro-energy independence platform. Because you are a Bush, do you feel pigeonholed at all in terms of ideology? You have to, you know, follow in the footsteps, so to speak, of, you know, your uncle or your grandfather, even your, your own father. To a certain extent, you know, but I've said from the first day of my campaign that I'm going to be a man in my own right. I found it interesting that Bush's nephew is campaigning as pro-life, pro-gun. These are two issues that have absolutely nothing to do with the land commissioner's authority or responsibility. Yet he and the media thought it was important to let, for him to let us know where he stands on these controversial issues that are going to resound really well with conservative constituency. So let's see where he stands on another issue that also has absolutely nothing to do with the land commissioner's office, but it is important to the Hispanic voters that the Republican Party hopes that Bush's nephew will attract to them. George P. is Hispanic. His mother, married to Jeb Bush, is from Mexico. As far as the Republican Party reaching out to those Hispanic voters, what needs to happen? We don't have to change our positions and our ideas as conservatives and as Republicans to win the Hispanic vote. We need to change our tactics. And I believe that as Republicans, it's incumbent not only upon the party, but also elected officials and aspiring political candidates to spend time in the Hispanic community, not just show up a day before election. I don't get it. This is not about just spending more time with people in the community. That's an insult. It's about a whole hell of a lot more than that. Here's how he thinks. Let's change nothing. Don't change the policies that disenfranchise Hispanics, women, other minorities. Let's just change the tactics of winning them over. Let's send a Hispanic with high name recognition and tell them, I'm one of you. Yo hablo espanol. I'm pro-life, pro-gun, pro-veteran, pro-education, pro-energy independence. But here's my question. What about the policies that might offend your people? Well, let's see what he has to say about those policies. Where do you stand on immigration? Well, um, I've always said that with respect to the issue of immigration that um, we as Republicans have an opportunity to, to lead on the issue. Um, but I keep talking about my vision for the future of Texas and that's focusing on education, energy independence, and veterans affairs. Uh, I'm so immigration our... isn't one of those areas you're wanting to dabble in right now? It, it is not. I haven't seen a move like that since my children played dodgeball. Bush's nephew understands that there's some important positions his party's taken that may not resonate real well with some of his Hispanic constituency. Above all, avoid discussing our policies that might offend your people. 
I don't mind offending people. If it's the truth and that offends them, well, so be it. The truth is Republicans don't have a monopoly on morality or spirituality or patriotism. I'm a spiritual, moral person. I'm a patriot. I don't like every plank in the Democratic Party's platform, and I don't dislike everything in the Republicans either. I'm a fiscal conservative and a civil rights liberal. I'm also a law-abiding person. When I was sworn into office as the mayor of El Paso, I took an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States and Texas. Every elected office holder in this state takes that same oath. We don't get to choose which laws we preserve, protect, and defend. The law is the law. In our country, if we don't like the laws, we're supposed to work to get them changed. But Bush's pro-life, pro-gun, do-nothing-on-immigration-policy nephew isn't running for Congress where immigration gun and gun policy is determined, and he's not seeking a seat on the Supreme Court where the constitutionality of pro-life and pro-choice laws are determined. So let's get the story straight. Let's deal with the truth. When it's convenient, Bush's nephew will remind you that the General Land Office has nothing to do with immigration, and he's going to focus on education, veterans, and energy independence. Remember, he and his party's tactics spend time with the people in the community. That should be enough. Well, that's never enough for me. I'm about a lot more than just making cameo appearances, shaking hands, and smiling grins. John Cook is about changing policy, bringing real change, getting things done for all American people, because I, John Cook, fully understand that hope and talk is not a strategy. And folks, that's the rest of the story. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you in the next episode of Fireside Chat.